extra early just to get their holiday drink. This town's so Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, so I got the caramel brulee latte. It's one of my favorite holiday drinks. I am not really a mocha person, so the peppermint mocha is something I don't normally get, but oh, the caramel brulee is so good. All right, I currently have no makeup on. One, because I'm like almost out of makeup, but two, I'm just gonna wear a mask anyway, so all I did was put mascara on. But good morning. Today's vlog is just gonna be a spend the morning with me. Um, I'm just gonna be vlogging for a couple of hours while I'm out and about because I just wanted this vlog to be kid-free, um, to be a little bit of motivation for all of the hardworking moms out there that we definitely need some self-care and you need some time off even if it's just to get a starbucks drink and go to target really quick just to breathe um especially right now with the election chaos and everything else going on and it's just really like high and tense and if you're new here and you don't know um i actually i don't like to say suffer from i say i live with anxiety and high functioning depression and so you know i I see a therapist, I take medication, um, and I just try to do other things that allow me to be my best self. And one of those is knowing when I'm about to reach my breaking point and trying to reset my mom clock um, before I reach my breaking point. So I actually, um, if you saw by the title, made my very first appointment um, to go get waxed. I have not done it. Like literally my last wax was a day before um, quarantine happened or lockdowns happened. So back in March. And at that time I prepaid for all of my appointments and I have not been able to use it. So I actually don't have to pay for anything today except for like a tip. And then I'm going to get uh, more body scrub um, because their body scrub here one it smells really good and two it's also a like hair growth minimizer um and it makes like waxing a lot easier i took a shower this morning um, because if you take a hot shower right before it, it helps open up your pores and it doesn't hurt as bad i don't know why my camera is so dark right now but um after this i'm just going to go to target and it is a work day for me uh, my husband is off i don't have my babysitter today so i just asked him if i could take the morning off so i can do my wax appointment and then um i have to go to target to pick up some stuff for the kids they need more eczema lotion um and plus again i just needed a breather i just want to get out i just need some self-care i'm feeling really again out touched and smothered and um yeah i just needed some mental clarity so that is what i'm doing today i'm taking the morning off before um i do like a part-time work day so if you want to hear about my experience so if you are looking to get waxed you know what to expect along with see what I purchased at Target because that's all I'm doing. I hope this motivates you to take some time out for yourself today and yeah, just come along my morning with me. Okay, I was not expecting that to be like a little shop with me in Target. I actually um, got two things for the kids, but I'm gonna go home first before I show you guys what I purchased because I have a call in like an hour. The wax appointment actually did not go that bad. So um, it I don't know if it was just because I did like the shower and all the tips and stuff like that, um, but it actually did not hurt that much and it wasn't that bad. They had like really good procedures in place. So you actually, when you get to the door, you scan something and then they come out, they check you in. And then, so everything's like done outside. It's very social distance. They wore a mask the whole time. They have hand sanitizer, they were cleaning. Um, so I felt really safe. Um, the only bad thing is she said that it sounds like we're gonna go back a tier. So I don't know what's happening if that means like places that just opened cause they literally just opened in October. Um, so we've been shut down in our county since March to October. So she says it sounds like they are gonna be like closing up again soon i don't know i hope not because 
because like I said I prepaid for everything and I just kind of feel like it was a waste of money but um I mean it doesn't expire so I have like appointments that are just free now I guess present to me um but I'm gonna get home so I can see my babies because I left before they woke up and show you guys what I purchased at Target Well, hello. I have a committee greeting me. Hi, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Hold on, mommy's hands are full, sweetie. Baba! <laughs> Hi. How are you? Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you miss me? Yeah. Do you want to carry it inside? <gasps> thank you. Do you got it? You got it, sister? Yeah. Good job, baby girl. Okay, so a tradition in our family is we get a new ornament every year, but I decided to get each of us one. So I got Eric a PlayStation ornament. Yay! I realized you never have an ornament. I thought we got Star Wars ones for the kids. Usually, I we got like, Star Wars ones before the kids. each of us kind of rotate to pick it, but I forgot who had last year, so I just figured we would all get a new one and then we'd start all over next year <laughs> with a new ornament. Um, I got a friend's one, so it's Central Perk. How you cute get, is that? You can match your shirt. Yeah, a match with shirt. And then they had these at Target. So there's a whole, there's like Harry Potter, um, this is Trolls, there's Star Wars, there's like a Nightmare Before Christmas. So there's oh, nice. surprise ones. Right. So I wanted the kids to open it to see what they're, I thought that was cute. Instead of me picking for them, yeah. it would just be a surprise. Okay. So it's a mystery okay. ornament. So you have to open it and then we'll put it on the Christmas tree, okay? Okay. Okay, do you need help or you got it? Um, I think they were only like two or three dollars or something like that. that yeah, I pretty cheap. That. Pull. Are you pull? Open. He's trying. You got pull, it. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. Okay, pull. who inside? did you get? I think I know who it is. The guy diamond? No. I saw I red. Still, I saw pink. I saw this. Oh, oh it's um Kelly Clarkson's the one from, character. From the, um, yeah. One the is that a plush? Oh no. Like, yeah, I forgot her name, but um Kelly Clarkson was the voice of her. Okay, Mister, who do you have? You, you got, got it? it? Can you open it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't get it. <gasps> Chewbacca. You got Chewbacca. Yay. Okay, you guys want to go put it on the tree? You'll have the first ornament on the tree. Go ahead. Now let's go put it on the tree, baby. Good job. Got it. We are officially decorated. <laughs> he's trying. Good job. Oh, I thought he did. I got this and I got that. You got it. You guys officially were the first ones to decorate our new tree. Yay! We got this from King of Christmas, so this is a new tree too. And then it came, um, it's a pre-lit tree because we don't like dealing with lights. <laughs> okay, nope, leave it on there, baby. Okay, so I'll just, everything else I got was just like for essentials, like bathroom stuff and food stuff, so it's not exciting, but I found this for $5. Um, we always do like a pink and blue, and then it's hard to find the set, but um, Target actually had a set. So it's 42 ornaments, um, the color scheme that we usually do. So this will just add to the ones that we already have. And it was only $25, so I had to grab this before others did. And then, plus I think the lighter colors are gonna be really pretty on a frosted tree. This is our first year getting a frosted tree, um, so I'm excited. Okay, I'm like cutting it so close. I have a meeting literally in like six minutes and I'm barely turning on my camera and my eyes are like, I don't have any makeup on. <sighs> Hopefully I can just keep my camera off. Um, but while my camera, I don't know why it's blurry, sorry. While my computer is turning on so I can jump on that meeting, I wanted to show you this. I couldn't do it downstairs because the kids were down there, but Target is not doing Black Friday this year. Instead, they're doing Black Friday deals all month long. And so today's deal in the toy section, they had a couple of deals all throughout the store, but in the toy section, certain brands are buy one get one half off, which if you're a mom of two or multiples, that's a definitely a good deal. So um, I think I'm gonna do the four gifts this year. They'll probably get like one or two extra, but I really wanna do the, um, like something to wear, something they need, something they want, something to read. Um, I love that concept. We've tried to do it, but I always like go extra. <laughs> but this year I'm really trying to like stick on a budget um, because I'm very much, it's not about the gifts under the tree, it's about the love around the tree. And I just want the traditions and all of that, not so much of the gifts. And I don't want my kids being raised, not saying that they will, but I don't want them being raised with like presents 
front mind when it comes to holidays so this is not going to count as a toy gift for them um, because it's educational um, so I got leapfrog toys Eve I believe this one was 29 and this was 19 so this would have been the half off one but I mean it's less than 50 for both of them so this will be Aria's um, if you guys saw like my Instagram stories she has been reading a ton um, somebody asked how I'm able to get her to read and this is actually asked a lot and honestly ever since she was a baby we always read to her we've always had books and then something that we did that really helped is we read her the same book when she started to like really pick up on words and trying to like copy us we read her the same book over and over again every single night for weeks and then we would start to have her copy us and so it really helped her with sight words and basically memorizing what the words are and now she can pick up almost any book in her age group and um, pick up on the words that are being said and then we just kind of guide her there's some words she'll mispronounce or she doesn't understand um, but we try to get her to sound it out and that's how we do it so it was literally just like read the same book to them over and over and over again um, and have them point have them copy you it takes longer like at bedtime so start with something that's short um, but you'll notice i'll pick up on it and to give you an example this is the latest book that she's been reading by herself so you guys can see like so we just kind of do simple they're easy to read books um but i mean they have uh, she needed help with the like names but I mean they have a mix of she's four if you're new um you know words for younger kids in preschool and kindergarten so um this is actually from an Amazon she's a small shop um, Amazon seller I'll leave her link in the description box I love this book so much you guys it has like a really good meaning to it so yeah um I figured this would really help out and then for Ezra I just got one that's his age and then it looks like more of a computer because he's always trying to mess with my laptop and it actually like flips so if it wants to be more of like a tablet you can do that too um that's pretty much my morning you guys i just wanted to get that message out there to take some time for yourself i feel a lot better just literally not having a time limit and just browsing target and <laughs> enjoying my day going to you know i know it's a little different and you know we complain or and it's fine if you do as we try to adjust to the masks and the salons and all the new you know procedures but i respect that it is not so much because i feel i'm going to be at risk but so i don't put other people at risk for example my father um he lost his hearing so he's been in and out of the hospital and he just had surgery and whenever that happens your immune system drops so it's just protecting my loved ones who are at higher risk my grandmother is a cancer survivor so she's at higher risk of getting covid so you know I just I do this not because I live in fear but because I want to protect the ones that I love um, and we just gotta stick it out together united you guys um, and get through this and just take care of yourself please like if you get anything out of this video just take care of yourself take some time for yourself relax um, enjoy time with your family uh, whatever you need to do but I have a lot of work to do I'm gonna just work a half day hopefully be done by like two um, and spend the rest of my time with my family but I hope you enjoy this little morning with me um, you know some target deals you got your Starbucks cup let me know what your Starbucks drink is in the comments below and I will chat with you guys soon bye